Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ali, this is Sonic Dionic. Uh, this week, uh, this video, I want to talk about a few things about charging. A lot of you have asked me, what is the best way to charge? Where are the charging stations? How do I find out? I'm worried about that. You know, should I get it? All this. I know charging is a crucial part to this. And I'm going to tell you about the four different ways you can charge this vehicle. And I love the fourth one. So a lot of y'all have asked me, you know, how do I charge my EV? You know, you're curious about your EV and you want to know how you'll charge it. And, you know, so specifically even how do I charge my Hyundai Ioniq 5, right? And, you know, so I think it kind of depends. The answer to that kind of depends on what your needs are. You know, your charging selection will be different when you're thinking about your day-to-day -day work versus, say, when you're going out for a, tri a long road trip. But I always like to say that you know, there's three levels of charging. Uh, level one is um, basically uh, you're charging a vehicle at a low you know voltage and it, so it will take longer to actually charge the vehicle it'll take roughly around 80 hours to get it from like a five percent to a hundred percent and so um, hyundai actually provides you with a level one charger which is simply um, you know this cord with an adapter and a um, you know regular plug and then you can you can just charge it with this adapter so that you know it works it takes roughly around um 80 hours it's not the most efficient but you know it's good to have um and then there's a level two charger which is actually the tesla wall chargers here this is a good example of level two charging there there's others um and so you know we'll talk about that in a little bit as well there's a third um level which is the dc fast charging that one's pretty cool i actually have already made a video about it and you can find it up here and so you know you know that gives you about a five to 80 percent it gives you 80 percent charge in about you know say 15 to 20 minutes you you don't want to go to 100 percent and i do talk about it in that video why that is but there's a fourth option and the fourth option which most people don't actually talk about is the uh, v2l and the v2l is actually kind of one of my favorites um and I, I do talk about the V2L adapter and V2L charging, you know, in this video up here. So check it out. You know, I know you like it. I know you love it. But, um, you know, today we're specifically talking about Tesla and their wall charger. So this is the level two uh, charger. So if you didn't know that Tesla made chargers for a non-Tesla vehicle, um, you know, don't, don't be worried about it because I did not know as well. But here, here's an example of a Tesla charge, wall charger that is actually not meant for non-Tesla vehicles. And the difference is it won't have the, um, you'll see that the adapter end of it is totally different than your vehicle. And so this is specific to vehicles of, uh, you know, made by Tesla. And so this wall charger here is white. So I just wanted to show you what it, it will know what the wrong one looks like versus what the one I use and what is good for the Hyundai Ioniq 5, how that looks like. So. This is the one that doesn't have the J1772 um, adaptation to it, but let's check out the other one. So this black one is the one that actually has the um, adapter end that works for the uh, Hyundai Ioniq 5. You simply plug this in into your vehicle. You'll then go into your phone where you, um, you, d you can download this Tesla app on your iPhone or Android. Uh, this Tesla app is really where you can locate all the charging stations and also pay for your charging and set it up so when you open the app you will see a lot of options you'll see a charge your non-tesla uh, option you'll see a bunch of other options are you know more specific to tesla vehicles so we'll just click on the choose charge your non-tesla option and then here you can see all the charging stations in the united states um you know, I believe there's other charge stations all over the world as well. But here we'll just use an example of the United States. Um, you know, you can look around all over the country. You know, the more you zoom in on these maps, the more they'll, the more it'll search for more stations and more stations will pop up on the map. And I think Tesla is actually making an active effort to kind of make more and more of these stations. So there should be more and more available. Uh, we'll do an example here of Atlanta and just kind of show you, you know, in the Atlanta area, how many stations, charging stations there are. And so once you find one, you'll click on it. It'll say uh, charge here. So you'll click on charge here 
and that's what that's gonna do is ask for is uh, this next page and here you'll see the cost uh, per hour and then once you click on it it'll ask you for a scan code and this code is actually usually on the um, side of the charging station so when you look to the side of it there'll be a code uh, or a QR code that you just scan it and then it'll, it'll kind of connect to the vehicle with the phone and the app and then that's how you'll charge it. It's really good because um, this is a really cheap process overall. You know, so once you you know scan the code, it'll automatically start uh, charging your vehicle, and it's a cheap process. You know, it's like about three bucks for me, um, and it gets you to a hundred percent. And it's really good. I think this is one of the few things that Tesla actually does really well, and um, you know, it's a really exciting. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Let me know in the in the comment section, and uh, see you next time.